appreciate you joining me once again. Our hymn today is the hymn, Throw Out the Lifeline. Throw out the lifeline across the dark wave. There is a brother whom someone should save. Somebody's brother, oh, who then will dare to throw out the lifeline, his peril to share. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline, someone is drifting away. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline, someone is sinking today. Throw out the lifeline. Let's look at our passage. We're going to read John 1, verses 35 down through verse 51, as the Lord calls the first disciples. Again, the next day, John stood with two of his disciples, and looking at Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated teacher, Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and he remained and remained with him that day. Now it was about the tenth hour. Uh, verse 40. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, you are Simon the son of Jonah, you shall be called Cephas, which is translated as stone. The following day Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to toward him and said of him, Behold an Israelite indeed in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Okay. might consider, as we think about our hymn throughout the lifeline, and I, I was thinking about what people have to come past. And so the first thing I wanted to mention was people have to come past teachers. And there's going to be a time when John the Baptist's disciples, when it looks like they're having some trouble with everybody going to Jesus. And to just think about teacheritis and preacheritis, and and sometimes I think it's I think it's fairly natural. You don't forget the first person who teaches you the gospel. Paul makes that point. You may have however many teachers, but you only have one father, he says. He's not talking about God. He's talking about the first person to teach them the gospel. But to, to come to Jesus, you have to come past the teacher. John the Baptist has to decrease. Jesus increases. And teachers, as important as they are, they are not the end goal, unless it is, of course, Jesus the teacher. And that's what the best teachers do, of course, point to Jesus. But we have to look past teachers and their pros and their cons. The things that teachers may do well, the things that teachers may not do well, as teachers are fallible. So we have to come past teachers. Back to our passage. Back to our passage. As you start having Andrew... One of those who heard John speak was Andrew, and he first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah. We also have to come past family, and that can sometimes be difficult to do. Perhaps, again, pros and cons. 
we may have parents, we may have grandparents, we may have children that, especially parents and grandparents, and we may think, well, it was good enough for them, and we just followed them. We end up just following parents without following Jesus, and our faith is, is hinged on them. And that's not right. We have to come past family. Okay, we, we don't need Peter. We don't need Cephas following Andrew and just leaving it at that. No, Andrew's going to follow Jesus and Peter's going to follow Jesus. And that's how it needs to be. And so we have to come past family in that regard. Again, pros and cons. Right? There may be things that family does not do well. We have to get past that and follow Jesus. Again, to our passage, then now you have Nathaniel. And Nathaniel's the one, and what he has to get past is pretty obvious. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He has some prejudice, and people aren't too sure exactly why, what's going on here with Nazareth, but you remember. It's Galilee of the Gentiles. There are a lot of Gentiles around here. Nazareth had a reputation. You can tell from what Nathaniel says. For whatever reason, it had a reputation. He had some preconceptions. He had some prejudice. He had some preconceptions. And he had to come past those things to get to Jesus. And that's what we have to do as well. We may have misconceptions. And we've got to lay them aside and come and see. All three of these things might consider it as we follow the Lord. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.